Yeah, I know. I saw a screenshot. Apparently, Madoka is coming up with a new game, and this is one of the screenshots. The gameplay looks basically the exact same as Star Rail, which made me laugh quite a bit. Like, there was a screenshot of, like, what I assume is a battle, and it's the UI looks... Ex and the camera angle, the everything. It looks, it looks exactly like Star Rail, dude. I had to double-check it wasn't a mod or something. It's really fun. I mean, obviously, I mean, I don't blame them, right? Because Star Rail, obviously, probably one of the better doing gacha games in the world world right now so yeah <laughs> sure makes sense that you would want to copy it i guess show on stream i don't have the link for it i just saw a pic on discord i think it has a steam page though it was some madoka something you can you can look at the screenshots on steam in fact let, let, maybe i can find it currently unavailable in your region what the f bro i can't open it on my browser it says it's unavailable is it only for the na region or something well that's one way to make sure your game dies on launch <laughs> <laughs> Not being global, that is. That is a bad sign already. Damn. Feels EU, man, every time. You have anime stuff, EU is like, nah, dude, we ain't buying that shit. Well, I can VPN, though. I'm gonna Nord VPN. Uh, I'm gonna go to um, United States. It shouldn't mess with my stream because it's only for my... This is a VPN for my browser. Oh, it does work. That's so funny. Easy VPN strats. Okay, let me uh, let me show you if I can find that screenshot. Okay, let me let me show this to you. This is what it looks like. <laughs> it's a bit hard to... See. Okay, let me zoom out a bit so you can see the full UI. <laughs> like, tell me that's not Star Rail, dude. <laughs> Look at the UI. Even the camera angle and everything. It's like basically Star Rail. There you go. That's what the game is gonna look like in combat, I suppose. Honestly, it's... I feel like even if it wasn't a Star Rail clone, it probably wouldn't do well anyway. Because you can only do so much with, like, a, such a limited IP, right? Like, the, pro the problem with making a gotcha out of a limited IP is that after a year or two, it's gonna become so boring when you, they, you only have the same characters with, like, six, seven variants. Like, it's so boring, right? Like, you need, like, a new original IP or something where you can, like, have all the freedom to create as many things as you want but now you just have you're gonna have like 10 different madokas 10 different homuras you know uh, that is like it's uh, i don't know I, I can't do that shit that was one of my gripes with fma and mobile as well i mean it, it still had a good roster but there were definitely many duplicates already in the you know not so long runtime it had <laughs> how many arterias well yeah obviously fate still does quite a bit of that stuff but at least we still have an endless possibility for new characters which, so I think it doesn't really count in this franchise. So yeah, we do get variants, but you know, still an endless pot. There's endless possibilities to add anyone you want, you know, because because of how the heroic spirits thingy works. We just have a proper One Piece guy. She has a billion different characters. Yeah, I, I I trust you since you know it's so freaking long. I mean, Fairy Tale is you know not even remotely as long as One Piece, and even that had like a ton of characters. Hope they have characters from other Madoka spin-offs. Yeah, but even then, it's probably way too limited of an amount. 